In a previous lesson, we've seen that when a filter is active on a clip, we can temporarily deactivate it from within the info palette by deselecting the tick box. And then the relevant filter is temporarily switched off. And if, for example, like in our clip, we want to see what it looks like originally without any of the active filters, then I have to deactivate each of the filters separately. Of course, with two filters, this is pretty easy to do, but you could imagine that sometimes you might have multiple filters on a certain clip. And if you wish to do a quick comparison with the original version of the clip, then it might be relatively complicated to deactivate each individual clip. And therefore, we have the possibility to deactivate multiple filters simultaneously. And to do so, they have to be selected together. For example, we can select the first filter, and then by holding the control key down, we can select the second filter. Or we could also use the rubber band to draw around a selection of filters. And when these filters are selected, and I deactivate one tick box, then all the marked filters are temporarily deactivated, as you can see here. So that's a small tip when working with filters.